little Tootie rest in peace. He got killed by the sheriffs. Actually, yeah, yeah. they tried to plant a gun on that little man, and he didn't even have a gun. You know what I'm saying? That was just them reasons. They reason for shooting him in the back. Law enforcement only sees the negative. Mm -hmm. That's it. In gang culture. Yeah, that's they it. Only see the negative. I mean. That's I all they want to see, though. That's, exactly. that's all they want to see, man. They just trying to get a check and, and stay alive. They the trying process. to keep their job. They, they trying to do. About us. They, the, the, the police really don't care about nothing that go on over here. You feel me? It could be nothing. Like, man, I'm telling you, my mama got killed. We had a candlelight visual at the park up it here. Was a, it was a. It was a bunch of people out here just for my mama cause. You feel me? It was they, over 500 they sent the people whole out here. Police out here, man. The whole fucking force or something. You feel me? And came and crashed and shit. It Took was so me to many jail. people. A, slammed me on the ground, put a gun in my head, all type of shit. Yeah. I was only 14 at the time, and this a day after my mama got killed. You feel me? Exactly. They don't care about what's going on out here. The police don't give a fuck about none of that shit. And man. that shit changed. They do more. They do more. They do more hurt to the hood than they do protecting it. You yeah. feel me? They ain't protecting nobody over here, man. Exactly. Like it was just an incident that happened last week when I was up here. I was up here. I was in a car, sitting in a car with my auntie, uh, my. <laughs> five-year-old cousin and, and like my two other cousins which are teens probably like 16 and my auntie we were sitting in the car and she was letting her kids play up here like we was just playing and so we was leaving to go to the store to to like grab some drink some waters and shit and come back and the cop car was coming in they stopped us they stopped us and they clearly seen that it was a elderly woman in the car my auntie driving they still got out the car guns out everybody put your hands up this and that like over nothing, like you know what I'm saying, like it's, that's 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 how fucked up it is. They they don't care who you is. Shit, geographically, we we really not cool with nobody. Like, I mean, you got the you got the Park Villages. We we, we, yeah, we cool, cool with them niggas on the, on the west side. side. Yeah. But over here, as far as over Atlantis. here, you got the the neighborhoods right here. Then behind them, you got the Kellys Parks, and then the Atlantic. But it's South Atlantic. You feel me? Them are only allies that we really deal with every day. Type shit. It's basically the same same thing when you say yeah, Atlantic and South. It's, 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 same, it's the same thing. And That's, what about just north of here, directly north? North, we got the we got the the Tanners. That's Elms, no go. The mob, the Elm Streets right here. You know, we 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 don't get along with them. No, we don't no. get along with nobody. Nobody on that side. side. Yeah. Nobody. Now, what about the uh, the Mexican neighborhoods around here? What's the relationship like with them? Shit, yeah. we, 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 don't we, don't we ain't Mexican never had no problem with, with none of them. Yeah, we really? ain't had no problem. I fucked my essay, man. I fucked yeah. them, yeah. fuck them niggas, except the T-Flats, but they be more, they don't like niggas, period. It ain't no hood beef, they just don't like black people. They don't like black people, yeah, exactly. I noticed they cross out Palmer Block a lot. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 and beef with the Mexicans, you feel me? Yeah, we ain't like never they, had no real beef with no Mexicans. Exactly, like, like they, ain't they ain't never came shooting over here, we ain't never came shooting over there. It don't be no tension when we see the niggas and nothing like at that, all. you feel me, at all. Now, so. since your parents were both from different hoods, I guess they didn't really have any re negative response when they found yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, it nah, was just, it, was, it was just, <laughs> like, up, oh, hey. Yeah, he talking, about, he talking about as far as us being like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, yeah. yeah they, I mean, shit, my mom got killed, we, my mom got killed like when we was like 14, so like, she, yeah. she already knew, like before she got killed, we we been in the hood forever, so it was just like some shit that that's bound to happen, you know. Yeah, we really exactly. gonna start pushing the hood like that, but after she got killed, it, it like we we jumped into it way more than what she was when she was here. You know. What yeah. Tell us tell us a little bit about what happened to your mom. Uh yeah, she she was over there in the um in the west side, kind of hood type shit, at like a little party type shit. You feel me? But she was sitting in the car with a couple friends or whatever, and some niggas just came up. Shooting at the car, I guess they were trying to get a nigga that she was with or something. You feel me? Basically, that's what they saying type shit. Basically, she got caught in a crossfire. Crosshair, crossfire. You feel me? Along with her friend and she, but she survived though. But they all got shot up pretty bad type shit. Yeah. And did the shooters eventually get caught? I, I think no. so. I think I. I don't know. Dead, though. I don't know. I don't know. And your and your mom was was from Southside at the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she, yeah, she was from Southside, but she wasn't like wasn't like a gang yeah, banger. She gang wasn't like, like, like she oh, wasn't like Southside Crib. This is not from where she was yeah. from. Where she was from, you yeah. see? just like a bunch of other people. But you know what I'm saying? She wasn't out there. She wasn't really putting herself in situations that's gonna like that's gonna draw other gangs, you know, to do some shit to her or nothing yeah. like that. I mean, that shit was just like out of nowhere type shit. That wasn't no premeditated type shit. That was just like some wrong drive-by. So after your mom passed, uh, who raised you guys? 
Shit, grandma. my granny. Shit, my grandma. My granny she, in the she, hood, man. Yeah. In the hood. You feel me? Like, we always had that support in the hood, like, as far as her passing and shit. Man, our family big as fuck. The Goonies, our family big. So we got a, and it, it's majority, it's majority women. Like, yeah. me? So we got a lot of, a lot of female, you know, people that we had was looking, looking out for and shit growing up. But mainly it's my grandma. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now you my said grandma. the Goonies? What is yeah. that? Uh, it's just it's just a family in the south side. You know what I'm saying? It's just a family that been here in the south like for a long time. Forever. Now you you seen the video of Tupac going up to Baby Lane and throwing the first punch? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Tupac is not from L. A. Exactly. No. He got uh, he he had people in his ear. And you don't just fire on somebody. No. That's from somewhere. Yeah. And think something that's how I yeah. looked at it. That's how I looked at it. I looked at it like, you feel me, like, just because you, I ain't a problem with Tupac. I like his music and everything, yeah. you feel me, like, but you just can't, no matter who you is, man, you can't go up to nobody and try to be tougher than what you is, you feel me? Like, you can't just go take off on a nigga. You don't even know this nigga like that. You don't know what he, man, what, he, what he can do or who he know or nothing like that. You, you don't feel me? Know that shit is not cool. So I feel like that was Tupac's biggest mistake. You feel me? Letting the other people, you feel get me, like ear. get in his ear and um, make him feel that he's something that he's not. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't know what he was really dealing with. Exactly. So. And I guess when you're in a big group like that, um, you kind of start feeling yourself. You feeling yourself. Feeling you feel yourself. Macho, you feel <laughs> a little like too much. Ain't you, nothing happening. You done have some liquor in you. You have some yeah. weed. You, you, All you these feel untouchable. You up. And yeah. I think what, what really makes it uh, very suicidal for him is because he had just went through this in New York. Exactly. exactly. He got yeah, shot up got in the shot studio. Up the studio. Yeah. And you would have thought he would have been a little bit more careful in his decision yeah, making. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But you know. But you know as far as like the, the dude Tupac used to hang around, the home uh our side it, it's always, <laughs> always been, been beef with them. them. It's always been beef with him. So yeah. that's another thing for him too. He was he was tied in and connected to some niggas that, that already had a lot of beef on their hands. You talking and, about the whole death row camp. Yeah, basically the whole, whole night, death row yeah, camp. Yeah, the mob yeah, and the on east side. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All yeah. that shit. So yeah. he was tied in with them, and he he must didn't really know what like, that made what it even worse. That. But you know, it's interesting. During that whole period when Shug was running that, he did have a couple Crips on his team. He had Daz Dillinger. Snoop Dogg. Yeah, Snoop niggas. Dogg. Yeah, <laughs> he had a couple. Yeah. You know, they, but they from Long Beach. Though. See, yeah, them niggas see, from Long Beach. See, the only beef over there, right here, that we got is the old hoods and the mafias. Brick Boys, what that's what called. And the Boulevard Mafia. Boulevard Mafia, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Don't, none of them niggas like the, they don't like the hood. They don't like the hood at all. That's the only North Long Beach gangs that, that, that we yeah, As far as Snoop Dogg and Dads, man, them niggas way from the east side of Long Beach. Like, yeah. they ain't, I mean, I ain't trying to talk bad about nigga, but they can't really control nothing that go on in Compton. You feel me? They, they, they can't get no Compton business. They about the ocean. Yeah, right. shit. yeah, them niggas by the water already. The water. They, they ain't really can't, they can't really do too much over here. It's like a foreign land over there to us. Did Biggie Smalls ever come to this park? Yeah, yeah, yeah Biggie came Smalls on this park. Is that right? Yeah, he came yeah. to this yeah. park. He, he came, came on Burrage Lane. Right there. It's a couple yeah. streets back that way. It's just a street called Burrage. Yeah, he Burge, been up here before. Me? And he been, he been all through this motherfucker. Hell yeah. And I remember for one instance driving by actually seeing him on the corner. Yeah. And did he come with Diddy or he just came with his own people? Uh, He he probably came with his own people. Yeah, I, I, don't remember, his own people. I don't remember. I don't remember them saying Diddy. Was Puff Daddy. Yeah, I, 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 I don't remember. But I know them Biggie was here with a couple of his people. Yeah. So Biggie actually walked the turf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Biggie yeah. been to the park. He been on Bird's Lane. You feel me? Yeah. He really been to there. Oh, if he never got killed, I'm just assuming. I'm sure Biggie would have put somebody on for Southside. Yeah, 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 yeah. At some point in his yeah, career, yeah, right? Yeah, he would have. Uh, he had a couple of homies though. Uh, yeah. what's, what's his name? Listen, listen. I got, I got, I got a lot to say. See, like, it's like the homies. The homies been doing his music shit like oh, way before, time, way before man. us. You feel me? You had Baby Lane, Rest in Peace, the Success Records. You had, you know, um, a Big Freaky J. My uncle had A and D, Armed and Dangerous. He had Lil Easy under his wing. You feel me? Yeah. And like. All that shit is just, it just it just never worked for the homies. Like at the end of the day, something always happened to where it, it didn't Mac work. Max 10, yeah. Max 10, like I'm saying, the homies the homies tied in with a lot of niggas with the rap shit, but it just never worked. Thanks for watching StreetGangs.com. Please like and share the video you just watched, and leave a comment below to tell us what you think. You can also watch two of our previous episodes to the right. Please visit the link to our Patreon page and support our campaign. And don't forget to subscribe.